Hero Summit Park uh, during the day. This is what it looks like. Um, when I was talking in Summit Park at night, you probably couldn't see the landscape footage I wanted to show you, what the landscape looked like. Um, I saw it more clearly when I was at Summit Park at night, but on the camera you don't really see the landscape, so I'm showing it to you again during the day. I wanted to show you this feature here, the pathway going through the trees. It reminds me of a uh, painting by uh, Emily Carr called Totem Walk at Sit Sitka, and uh, a little bit reminds me of that. And for me, this, this pathway has always meant a kind of uh, shared uh, sort of dream space for me. If I want to meet someone in a dream, I usually dream of this pathway and I usually end up meeting people here. Um, some people I've met over the internet who I've never actually met in person, I've dreamt about meeting on this pathway, for example. So it had crossed my mind that maybe if Emily wanted to meet me here um, and, and not in the Psychomantium space at the art gallery, then she could do so in a dream or meet me here in a dream in advance to let me know what to expect when I try and contact her on Tuesday. Um, but at any rate, uh, this path I have in mind, uh, should she ever want to meet me down this path in a dream. And uh, it's very dreamlike for me, especially at uh, twilight, which I, I can't really document with the camera, but I just wanted to show you this path, what it looked like during the day. Here is uh, the most ideal angle of, of the path, this uh, shared dream space path in Summit Park. I just wanted to show you a, a close-up of it. Um, as you can see, it, it, it kind of does resemble the painting without the uh, totem poles there, of course. Here I am uh, visiting Emily Carr's grave at Ross Bay Cemetery. I'm going to give her a little tribute uh, with some candies and, uh, and uh, just uh, as in anticipation of hoping to meet her on Tuesday through the Psychomantium space. So I'm going to go over to the grave. Here. This is her family grave. Okay, I don't have flowers to present at her grave, but uh, I do have floral candies, and they're in the hundreds, of, hundreds and thousands. So I'm going to um, turn a little grave and make a little Emily for her as tribute, and to uh, just uh, to say hello at the, at the grave here. Uh, she might be buried, just buried under here, and not in this body. But if she's in disembodied spirit, then maybe I can contact her behind the mirrored space of the. Psychomantium, so I'm going to uh, put some candies down. This might take a while. I just thought I'd, I'd do this instead of flowers. I've read about her candies where they're small, insignificant by themselves, each candy, but. Uh, Together they have some kind of meaning, so kind of like her diary. So, anyways, up there. I'm not the biggest genius for alphabet here. There, MLE. <laughs> So 
So, what you're looking at is 1490 kilohertz AM in my car radio. The closest frequency to 1485 kilohertz in this car, this car can receive. 1485 kilohertz AM is uh, called the Jurgensen frequency, developed by Frederick Jurgensen in Sweden. And he used the radio to contact voices from beyond the grave. So, I was hoping since I'm across the, <coughs> the road from Emily Carr's grave, that uh, if she happens to be around right now, uh, I would like to try and speak with her, uh, ask her some questions, and see if in this jumble of radio stations in the middle of these, these between these radio stations to get picked up, if she will answer. And uh, we might have to play this back and forth to test it several times, but uh, maybe if you're listening carefully, you might hear Emily's voice uh, talk back. So I'm going to it, it's already on 1490, which is the closest I can get to 1485. I'm going to turn it up now. Just a bit silently. So now, I'm going to talk louder so you can hear me over top of the radio. So now I'm going to say, Hello Emily Carr, this is Jeremy Turner here. I'm hoping to meet you on this coming Tuesday through the Psychomantium ritual. Are you here with me tonight? Second thing I, I was hoping to ask is if you've been wanting to contact me all this time. someone talking a little bit. It's really hard to hear, like a lady. To really focus carefully. Not the lady singers, but in between that.